Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. Today we are looking at Psalm 11. And in Psalm 11, we find David is on the run from King Saul. He's a fugitive. He's being uh, hunted and hounded. And uh, David's friends are giving him some advice. <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, they meant well but their advice is not uh, godly advice. And so let's look at it. Psalm 11 and verse one. How dare you tell me, my friends, flee to the mountains for safety when I'm trusting the Lord. David is in danger and uh, his uh, friends are telling him, you know, you've got to escape Saul. You've got to run to the mountains. And you've got to run for your life. And uh, you've got to uh, uh, take care of yourself. You've got to defend yourself. And here is the temptation to flee, to run from your problems. And who of us have not faced that temptation? We have mountainous problems that confront us day by day. And the temptation is to flee, to run from our problems. But like David, we need to face our problems with faith. I'm trusting in the Lord, David is saying. And how come you're saying that I need to run away from my problems? And in so doing, running away from my God. We need to face our problems with faith. Nehemiah had such a challenge when he was told in uh, similar tones, Flee, they are out to get you, they are out to kill you. Flee, run. And Nehemiah said, How could a man like me flee? I'm going to stand for my God, and He's going to uh, come through for me. So find safety in the person of God. And running away from your problems is not going to solve your problems. Trust the Lord. You've got to affirm your faith in God. So verse 2, for the wicked have strung their bows, drawn their arrows tight against the bowstrings, and aim for ambush at the people of God. <laughs> In today's language, we would say the enemy has loaded his guns. They are ready to fire at, at us. They are ready to throw those dangerous grenades at us. It's going to be a secret attack. At a time when I least expect it, the enemy is going to shoot and try to wipe me out. Uh, when we fear the things we can't see, we are really walking in fear. So we have an invisible enemy today in the COVID, invisible and very powerful. And uh, it's almost like the guns are loaded against us, ready to be shot at us. But God is there. We trust the Lord that he will protect us and he will come through for us. And then in verse 3, uh, we are told, law and order have collapsed. What can the righteous do but flee? So that's the second time you have the word flee. And here again, David's friends are telling him, you know, Saul's uh, government is in a state of collapse. There is total anarchy. Uh, everything is uh, in turmoil and in confusion. And there is no law and order, no law and order. Isn't that a picture of our world today? No law, no order in many parts of the world. And there is uh, anarchy and there is war, there is civil war. And uh, what can the righteous do but flee? No, there are three things that the righteous need to do in such a time. And the first is to pray. We pray. We pray against what is happening. And the second thing is we need to encourage others who are fearful in a time like this. We need to use words of faith. We need to use the word of God. And that's why we have these devotions, just to encourage you day by day to, uh, to take confidence in God. So we pray, we encourage one another with words of faith from the scriptures. And then we take action. As someone said, the only thing to do 
uh, for evil to prosper and succeed is uh, for the righteous not to do anything. So there is a course of action we have to do. There is some good that we should be doing. And as we look to the Lord, he will show us what that good is that you and I are called to do so that we can retard evil. We can stop evil dead in its, in its tracks. So as we face these alarming circumstances today, let's pray. Let's encourage one another. And let's do what we can, both personally and corporately, so that instead of fleeing, we stand where we are and we uh, exercise faith and we watch God work on our behalf. May God be with you uh, in your circumstances and come through for you. Have a blessed day today. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.